Nigeria is among the few countries across Africa that are not making use of opportunities to garner funds for agricultural research offices, and this has been affecting the growth of the sector adversely. The federal government has further revealed that the country's agricultural research sector loses approximately $100 million yearly due to its inability to attract grants from local and foreign grant issuing foundations and organizations. Led by the chief executive, our executive director himself. In a bid to correct this, the federal government is organizing training workshops on how to attract these funds by equipping research officers across the country in a forum organized in Ilomi, Kwara State. We are here as those who are all participating. I'm only here to facilitate. While speaking at the opening of the week-long training workshop on grantmanship for agricultural research officers by the Agriculture and Rural Management Training Institute, AMTI Ilomi, Kwara State, the executive director of the institute, Dr. Olufemi Oladuni, laments how non-access of the funds across the world is affecting the agricultural sector. This is due to no fault of the organizations, but rather a lack of knowledge on the parts of the country's researcher. There are a pool of research funds lying outside there that we are not assessing at all. It's not that they are not ready to give us. It is because we are not assessing them. Nigerians have been missing a lot in terms of getting research fund, research grants from so many agencies at least, even from Europe who are assisting them. The empty boss announced that the institute deemed it necessary to contribute its quota to developing the skills, knowledge and research competence of the nation's scientists and make them develop more better quality and high yielding varieties to improve food security in Nigeria. He further added that the country is not losing anything below a $100 million grant every year due to the inability to attract both local and foreign grants. Fifty participants across research institutes and higher institutions in the nation are taking part in the one-week training and the representatives expressed readiness to make the best use of the knowledge to enhance the agricultural sector. It was rightly pointed out where a serious-minded set of people and will look forward to be trained on the science and art of writing to get grants. And I want to assure you all that the training will, will not just end on the Friday. We anticipate a kind of uh, collaboration and networking amongst ourselves to be able to come together and write grant-winning proposals that will help uh, take the agricultural sector even forward. The current state government on a path pledged to continue to provide an enabling environment for agriculture to thrive in the states. It's beyond just you know even giving out resources. If you don't build the capacity of the people, there is no way they can utilize these resources. So in our own efforts, we have been doing a lot of capacity building for you know uh, ensuring our people are able to utilize all these opportunities.